Hey, Apple recently showcased its latest and final round of iPads for this year. And while what we have seen was impressive, we cannot escape occasional updates about what is yet to come next year or in the close future. Not to mention what kind of expectation brings the question, where will Apple go next with their iPads? Namely iPad Air first. So let's get on it. Hi friends and welcome to this to Marketing Channel. My name is Marco. This is your dose of Apple news, leaked information, rumors and opinions. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, hit the like button and don't forget to enable all notifications so you don't miss the next video. On its release, 4th generation iPad Air was absolutely stunning piece of hardware. Apple has moved its mid-range segment iPad Air to a whole other level, in even more colorful variations, the whole new chipset before it lands to anything else, and visual style that, as expected, it was on the run to catch the most modern iPad editions, the one of the iPad Pro lineup. With great balance of power, visual improvements for decent price, it was all around great, and still is. Frankly, the iPad Air success succeeded in something like that, since it was not uncommon to hear reviewers suggesting it more often instead of going for the iPad Pro. No wonder why it has awakened curiosity how its next iteration is gonna look like, and what it will bring to the table. Initially it was predicted, if we revisit information from none other than Ming-Chi Kuo, a well-known Apple analyst, who has published how the next iteration of the mid-range iPad will be the first ever Apple's tablet with the OLED display. Although this one was later postponed by other sources to 2023, the latest report from just a few days ago does not bring any kind of better news either. According to the elect, the iPad Air with OLED display may well be put on hold or even stopped. So in best possible scenario, we may get something after 2023 aka 2024, Apple's preferences versus Samsung's long-term financial interests, and LG's lacks of production capacities have led us into problem without hope for some quick resolution. I do believe we should right now forget about any chance for 120Hz refresh rate, and I can imagine that some of you would really want that. I mean, me too, but come on, it's Apple. Mako Takara Portal has also unveiled some updates regarding the 5th gen iPad Air. Some of the claims obviously have a lot of sense. The A15 processor, which in that case will be a match to the latest iPad Mini 6, although most likely not underclocked like its smaller cousin. Though many would expect expect one more bump in RAM memory, I doubt it will happen next year. Mako Takara folks were convinced we will see two camera setup as well, and maybe even a LiDAR sensor, which to me sounds more like a guessing game. If there is one thing that we may be certain in regards to cameras is the front facing one, 12 megapixel ultra wide center stage capable, since every single iPad, except from 2020 Air, now has it. 5G is also the jump that will happen without a question. Blackbeard Hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24-7 customer support, real people, and more hosted on fast, reliable, and secure servers. Check it out. One month free trial, no credit card needed. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard Hosting hosting as it should be. What I would expect to see are some other improvements and technologies that majority will appreciate but it won't be like in the center of attention. Like for example next iteration of Bluetooth maybe if it comes out. Even more storage options but that is under a question mark because the iPad mini. But let's see. I don't have to remind you that we are still waiting to see the successor of the Apple Pencil Generation 2. Could this be an option when the next iPad Air is showcased? We can only guess. Until the iPad Air 4, I was convinced that Apple will not introduce new processor on the mid-range or entry-level device. Yet previous year, 
That's exactly what they've done. So I wouldn't exclude any such possibility. One thing is certain, the next iPad Air is definitely a must for the next year. Will it be smaller or bigger updated remains to be seen. Hopefully there will be no need for price adjustments unless something unexpected happens. So far what we have now seems just fine in terms of pricing. My biggest concern though is what kind of impact this may have to some other products and we will talk more about it in one of the next videos sooner than you may think. What about you? What are your expectations about the next iPad Air? Please answer in the comment section below. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Make sure you check the links in the description. Besides some offers and discounts, you may find few Apple products and accessories there as well. Thank you so much for watching this Tomakin channel. My name is Marco. Talk to you soon. Have an excellent day. Bye.